If you would like to build a sustainable and ethical online income, then this video is for you. I'm going to share with you the four important steps that you are going to need to follow. It's not difficult, it's not technical, it works in any niche and anybody can do it. We're not going to be focused on any of the gimmicks that you see being sold online and we're not going to be talking about methods that tell you you can earn several hundred dollars by doing random push button things or uploading videos to YouTube that aren't yours. We're actually going to focus on things that work, that you have control of, that you own and that you can grow and we're going to do this as simply as possible. So there are four steps as I mentioned. The first step is you have to focus on building an audience and you do that by giving value before asking for any money. Now there are various ways you can build an audience. You can run a website or a blog like this where you provide valuable content on a regular basis. You could run a YouTube channel where you continually upload videos to YouTube that are value based. Maybe you prefer Twitter, maybe you prefer Facebook or Reddit, it doesn't matter. The key thing is you need to focus on building an audience and you need to do so without really, really focusing on getting money right away. Once you become known as somebody in your niche that is knowledgeable, that is trustworthy, and that continually provides content that helps your ideal target customer, people are going to want to learn more. Now, when people are at that step, that is when they are going to join your list, which is step two. Now, an easy way to join a list is by providing something of value and offering that in exchange for somebody's email address and or name. So as an example, this is something that I have created. It is a 17 page PDF which outlines a strategy that I used to earn $4,691 in affiliate sales and 850 bucks in prizes with a very, very small email list. So anybody that is an affiliate marketer that wants to be an affiliate marketer that sells products online could potentially be interested in this. And if these people have been consuming my content for me personally, YouTube and different websites that I run, then when I tell people that I've got something like this that I'm gonna give them for free, they are going to be interested. Now, if I shove this in their face right away before they even have a clue who I am, the chances are, even though the content might be valuable, they may not trust me enough to opt in. Now, in order for people to get this gift, we need to have a way to provide it. So we need to create something like this, which is an opt-in page or a landing page or a squeeze page. They're basically the same thing. You've probably seen a million of them before. Some are good, some are bad. This is an example of one that converts relatively well because it offers one thing and I don't confuse people on this page with pictures of me and testimonials and pop-ups, etc. It's very simple. This is what I've got. If it's a little bit more about it, if you want it, enter your email address in there. If somebody does that, then A, they're automatically put on my list and B, they come to a thank you page, which is something like this, where I thank them and congratulate them for making the decision. I tell them what's coming into their inbox and just to let them know that if it doesn't come, they can contact me here. And then we just I just offer my paid offer here as a bonus. But the main point is this. So people have consumed my content. Um, I've told them that I've got something to offer. So they've come here to try and get it. They've landed here and now they're on my email list. So I've started to build a list. The more people that I can get to this page, the better. And the more people that I can get to opt in, the better. Now, if you don't want to create a page like this, then you can use a different process. There are pl platforms out there such as Gumroad and you can create as many Gumroad accounts as you want. I'll leave a link to Gumroad below. It's completely free. There's nothing to pay for. So this isn't a way of getting you to buy something. This is free. I've got several Gumroad accounts and this is a new one that I have set up. Now, once you've created a Gumroad account and you've verified who you are, you're going to go and want to basically fill out your profile and your payment settings and all of that stuff. So if you ever do make a sale that you can get paid and all of that. But the great thing about Gumroad is we can actually use this if we don't want to create you know, a website or a page like this. We can use this third party platform to build a list for us. So let's go and do that right now. We're going to click on new product and I'm going to call this case study, um, case study 
in fact, let's go and grab something from this page. So let's put, we'll get this amount and we'll come back and we'll put that in there. So this is going to be, uh, it's going to be a PDF. So it's, we're going to click on this and then the price is going to be free. Let's make it free. We're not going to charge any money. We're giving this away. And then we're going to hit uh, next and we are going to customize this. And that is where we're going to fill out a little bit of information here to tell people all about our product. We can create a unique URL. So we can put something like case study or free case study. We can upload a cover, which should be at least these dimensions. And then we can upload a thumbnail, which should be a square image, 600 by 600. And then we can just fill out these boxes here. So I'm going to pause the video and go and create something and then I'll be back shortly. Okay, so we can see that I've completed a little bit of this. I've put a little bit of copy in here. You could put a lot, but I've just put a little bit. I've given it a URL, uh, my, myaccount.gumroad.com, free case study. We've got the cover that I uploaded and a square thumbnail as well. And then I've just put a summary. You'll get this 17 page case study, 100% free. And as you start to fill this out, you can see that it fills here. So anybody that comes to this particular page when it's ready will see this nice looking image. They'll see the title and they'll see that it's free, which is going to be great for a list building process. Then when we're happy, we can hit save changes and we can go to the content. Now we've got a couple of choices here. We can redirect to a URL. So if you want to, you could redirect them to this URL and have them opt in. Or if you want to, you can upload the file. So that would be this particular file. You can upload this directly here. It's entirely up to you. But the great thing about this is you can integrate Gumroad with your autoresponder, which is the place that you house your list. So I've already got my autoresponder set up with Aweber. So I've got a couple of choices. Uh, I'm going to actually basically click on this. I'm going to redirect to this URL just to save time. Let's hit test. Make sure that everything's okay. It tested successfully and we're good to go. Then we just save our changes and then we come to the checkout and we just kind of come through here. There's no shipping information because we're not actually sending them a physical product. We can put something like this. Thank you note. Enjoy the case study. And then we'll save changes there. And then if we come to share, okay, you've got your, I'm going to publish it first. So let's publish it first. And then we can share. And then this is what we can see. So we've got a bunch of things that we can potentially share. If we've got a website, we can embed this post, uh, embed this code on our website. We've got a button preview. We've got a URL. We can share it on Twitter. If we're building a Twitter audience, we can share it on Facebook. If we're building an audience on Facebook. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Because if you've started off with the first step correctly of building an audience, then you will have people that follow you on Twitter or on Facebook, or maybe consume the content on your website, or subscribe to your YouTube channel. And you may already have a list as well. So you can get this in front of many targeted people. And once people click through, opt in, and they've got the case study, A, they're going to consume the content and it should be good value and help them move forward to achieve their goals. But you've now got them on your email list. And once you have them on the email list, it's much easier to engage with people en masse because you can send people interesting emails that stand out. Honestly speaking, that is the difference maker, in my opinion, between people that succeed and people that struggle. Anybody can follow directions and create something like this on Gumroad. Or if they don't want to use Gumroad and they just want to create something just like this, it's not difficult to create. And if you really can't do it, you can pay somebody to do it. Similarly with a lead magnet, you can write something yourself or you could pay somebody to write it and pay somebody to make it look good. But the really important thing is can you create and write emails that entertain, that engage, and that build on the trust that you already have. And that's where people struggle because everybody just rushes things and wants to get the sale right away. And it's not difficult, but it does take practice to get better with emails. And whereas most people are just hypey and salesy, what you should really try to do is incorporate storytelling into your email. So I'm going to show you a resource. This is a free resource you can check out. It's called the American Film Institute. And there's a web page on here 
about movie quotes. Now you may or may not have seen these films, you may or may not like these movies, that doesn't really matter. But quotes are just one of many, many examples that you can leverage on to write fun and interesting emails. So for example, this first one, frankly my dear, I don't give a damn from Gone With The Wind. This would make a great subject line for an, an email. And where all of the other emails are saying, open now, it's live, buy this, free, discount, etc. There's your email that says, I don't give a damn, it stands out. And then you have the quote here in italics at the top of the email. You can talk a little bit, very briefly, about what the quote, where the quote comes from. Most people may have heard of the film, but you never know. And then you can segue, and this is the trick, you segue into a marketing message. So in this case, you, for me, for example, I run video marketing related stuff. Uh, one of the biggest fears that people have is appearing on camera. But the thing is, you shouldn't care what people think. You know, you're being judged all of the time. So fearing being judged is a waste of time. Once you can stop caring what people are thinking of you, especially troll, internet trolls and people you're never going to meet, you lose that element of fear. And you can kind of segue from this quote into a message of like, just do it, just get over your fear. And then once you've done it a few times, you'll wonder why you ever worried make, about making videos and you'll just make more and more and be able to build your audience. Second one here, I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse from The Godfather. If you're trying to promote your own product or you're selling an affiliate offer, you can talk about The Godfather, use this quote, and then you can say, now I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. And then you can segue into a little bit of a spiel into the product you're promoting and then link people to a bridge page, review page or a sales page. Let's come down and see if we can find a couple of others. Let's have a look. Um, there you go, you talking to me, taxi driver. This is a great um, headline that you could use to introduce the concept of a customer avatar. And once you've done your research and you understand your ideal target customer, you can learn the language that that particular person speaks and then you can tailor your marketing to that particular person. Number 62, what a dump. So for example, maybe the sales page of a product that you're promoting as an affiliate is quite ugly. It's got bad copy. It's not formatted correctly, but you know the actual product is top, top value. You can use what a dump as the headline, talk about how bad the sales page is, but tell people to forget that because the actual product is actually good value. And if you already, again, if you have the audience, if you have the trust, you're gonna get much better results than if you don't. And that is something that you, build over time. Let's see if we can find one more. There you go. Is it safe? So for example, there are certain things that people are worried about doing online. I sell private label rights content and a lot of people are worried about buying pri private label rights because they fear that duplicate content will actually give them a penalty. And it's not true. Nothing could be further from the truth. There are famous and big entertainment and news websites that use duplicate content all the time and they never get penalized. So is PLR safe? Yes. But to people that are uneducated on the topic, they might think it's not. So again, you just gotta think a little bit outside the box and segue into marketing message. And this is one of tons of ways that you can come up with interesting concepts for email. And if you can build the audience, build the list, engage with the audience, selling is the easy part. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions, let me know. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, and I will see you in another video soon. Take care. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews, so go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below, and I'll see you soon.